My name's uh, Shannon McDermott and I'm the Superintendent for Technology Projects at Granny Smith Mine. So my role in this uh, project was uh, I'm the project manager. So I've been involved with the uh, selection process or the tender process through to um, awarding the, the work to UFR. And now I'm, I'm involved with the actual testing and implementation within Goldfields. The main sort of uh, concept of the project is that we're taking a standard MT65 truck which is an EpiRock truck. We're converting it so it becomes an autonomous truck. And then we're gonna use that to um, operate during non-productive or scheduled downtime on our mine. My name is Michael Place. I'm the mining manager for Goldfields at Granny Smith Underground Gold Mine. My role in the truck transformation project uh, is the project sponsor. In 2019, uh, we envisaged having an autonomous truck underground. Throughout the, the last few years, we've looked for partners uh, to be able to make that a reality. The Goldfields partnered with UFR and we actually gave them one of our underground haul trucks to automate. Underground mining has been in the dark ages for a long time and we're lifting the lid off the mine to be able to see, track and monitor our people and equipment in real time. So that's really exciting for underground mining. mining for many years has been seen as a very dirty business. Uh, we're changing that and Goldfields is changing that. We have ESG targets to lower our emissions considerably over the next several years. So implementing new technologies to be able to do that is a major priority for Goldfields at the moment. Removing people from harm's way, that's a big uh, priority for us, but also from um, an emissions perspective, by utilising our existing uh, fleet and not having to grow it, we can reduce our emissions footprint and also the capability that we implement gives us the uh, potential to integrate into uh, battery electric vehicles at a future stage. Hi, I'm Ross, I'm project manager at UFR and I've been working on the underground haulage project. At UFR we develop OEM agnostic solutions using existing equipment that a site already supports, um, which is what we've done in this case to reutilise Granny Smith's existing MT65 fleet. Some of the challenges have been integrating our hardware into a larger machine than we've previously done and doing this also keeping in mind the harsh underground environment. I'm Paul Robertson, I'm the maintenance superintendent for the underground at uh, Granny Smith's, the Wallaby. My role in the haulage project was to find the machine that we could automate uh, and make sure from a a site perspective, we supplied the right machine for them to use and make sure that was ready for UFR to do this activity with. A truck that we didn't need for the operation but still had some life left in it to do this project. Um, normally we'll run a truck until it's end of life, so it took a bit of moving around and sorting some stuff out to try and find that. Benefits of working with UFR, they're easy. They adjust quickly. If we come up with ideas or changes, they can do it within days. I mean, quite reactive and quite accommodating. It's surprising to see that we've come this far in a space of 12 months that they've been working on this project. And to see it move around and do that today is taken other companies years and years to get to. So for Goldfields, when we went down the, this technology path, we wanted to be agnostic. So working with UFR allows us to uh, automate uh, any OEM, any fleet type that we want, rather than being locked to a specific vendor. Because UFR can actually uh, implement their technology across any fleet type, that's the reason that we were so excited to partner with them. It has been exciting just because they are a, a fairly nimble company and my dealing with some of the OEMs, the wheels don't turn as quickly. So what UFR have been able to achieve in a very short period of time to a very high safety standard has been excellent.